Today's question comes from an engineer who's designing a medical device. This device is out of the body, but there is a um, question that he has, and that is, will my magnet lose strength over time? The answer is, it should not. Now, there's some factors that go along with that uh, pre uh, determining which magnet that you need, and that is to understand the requirements of the magnet. Magnet selection and magnet coating are extremely important prior to even purchasing a magnet. So know what you want the magnet to do so that we can make sure that we get you the correct material right from the beginning. Will it be neodymium? Will it be Alnico? Will it be smear and cobalt? Will it be ceramic? These are all factors that can be could determine based upon what the requirements of the magnet are. So it should not lose strength if you, if you select the correct magnet at the beginning. However, there are reasons that a magnet can lose strength. So I want to address those four factors right here. These are just four factors that are the, the most uh, predominant factors out there. One is heat. If a magnet sees heat that it is not rated for, it sees too much heat that it's not rated for, then the magnet will definitely lose strength. Secondly, if it comes in contact with a, small, a stronger magnetic field, we see this with ceramic magnets coming in contact with neodymium magnets and ceramic losing their strength. A neodymium magnet should not lose strength when it comes against an opposing magnet. It should not lose at all, unless you're in a situation where an MRI machine is, is generating so much field out there, it could have some effect on the, on the uh, neodymium magnet. Shock, if the magnet is taking a beating. Um, in this situation, the medical device application, there is a little bit of pounding, so shock would be one of the issues that we would want to address. And finally, coating failure. If you don't have the correct coating on the magnet, uh, then the coating could fail, thus exposing the magnet to air, which would mean that the magnet could corrode. Once the magnet starts to corrode, then it starts to lose some of its magnetic capabilities. So hope this helps. Uh, thanks for the question. Keep them coming uh, at info at smmagnetics.com or log on to our website at www.smmagnetics.com. Thanks.